morning. Good morning and hello. Happy Saturday. I feel like these Saturdays come around so fast. Get your comments so I can see them. We have a we have a beautiful card, in my opinion, a beautiful card to make today. So it is using the sweet as peach. Sweet. So this is what we're making. I have all my stuff out. And we're gonna get to it because it's gonna take a few minutes and I don't wanna keep you for too, too long. So let me finish getting my paper. How is your Saturday morning? How are you, Lori? What are you up to today? All right, I'm just finding my, so it's directional paper. I'm just trying to find the, this is the designer series paper. So I'm just wanna find that polka dot blue. Here it is. So it's the other side of this one. All right. So let's, Get to, where's my ruler? <clears throat> okay. My card base. I think we have all the pieces. Now. Let's do this one first. So the first layer, can you see my sample? There it is. Okay, so this one we're using the designer series paper, uh, the uh, whole bunch of the dies, and the colors that we're using is pale papaya, balmy blue, which is this card col colored base, and then the designer series paper, and this is calypso coral. And yeah, okay, so I think this should already be pretty much, because I cut the other base from that one. Let's go here so you can see. All right. Now our cheat sheet shows us that this is going to be four by five and a quarter. And I want to be mindful of the direction of the paper. So five and a quarter here is that way and four. So that'll go on this space. And then I wanna cut the blue, the blue piece under there. So this is two, two and three quarters by four. Where's my blue paper, here it is. Two and three quarters by four. So let's go four this way. Well, actually, let's go two and three quarters this way. Save my paper by four. So then that's this piece that goes that way. And then we'll just do the designer series paper, <clears throat> which is also I guess it doesn't matter for direction. So this one should be, I think I've done about an eighth of an inch shorter. So one, two, three, four, two and five eighths by four. So one, two, three, four, five, two and five eighths. Good 
morning, Jody. How are you? How is your garden with all of this heat? There. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna grab my white paper. for my stitch so sweetly dies. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna cut a couple of chunks of white here for our, to cut all of our flowers and everything. Um, let's do one more so that we have the, whoops, the sentiment as well. All right, let's get to stamping. Lots going to see. Oh. All right. So this is the peach stamp set. Let's just talk about what's in here. So this is one of the new stamps from Stampin' Up. And the inside, we it's it's the new design where the stamps, the images are already on the back cover. So when you take them, they'll come on a plastic sheet. And when you take it off, there's the, the images is back there. So you don't have to keep that plastic sheet anymore. So I'm gonna just show you a trick with this that I learned when I was working with this is that, so this is the matching die set here. So this stamp, this, these are the leaves and it's a photopolymer. So it's pretty wonky. And so I find that um, depending on how you put it on your, how you stamp it and everything, it's possible that when you go to cut it out, it's a bit wonky. So I'm putting it on my block and then I just wanna line this up, this is the die, just to make sure that it works, which it does. So I got lucky. So that's a little tip. Anyways, I like the, uh, I like the new stamp cases. It's just a bit cleaner to keep your stamps organized. So that's good. I like it. Uh, I just need my green. So I'm using pear, <clears throat> excuse me, pear pizzazz. And I'm gonna use my foam mat because it's a photopolymer stamp. So there's no cushiness there. So we're gonna stamp two of these. So this was not, this is, it was, but I changed my mind. This was gonna be one of the cards for the stamp camp that's coming up. I changed my mind and we went with a different card. So if you're registered, then you will see. If you're not registered, you still can. We're recommending to order by the 4th of July. Now, the if you go to put in the whole suite, let me show you, I've got my coffee, let me show you. I think it's page 60 something. If you go to put the whole suite in, you know how if you order with just the code? So here's the suite as a peach. So if you're gonna order with this code, it's gonna tell you that it's not available because the jam jars, these little jars are currently on back order until I think the 4th or 5th of July. So you will, I thought it showed the whole suite. Um, you can go ahead and put in the other item numbers. So you can put in the Sweet as a Peach bundle, so you get 10% off the stamp set and dies. And where's my designer series paper? So then you would put the code in for the designer series paper, which I'm just gonna show you here, which is back here on page 134. And then you can also add the jam jars later. Um, or they might let you add them to your cart if you, if there's some still in, or like there's, <clears throat> so what Stampin' Up! will do is they will accept 
orders, even though they don't have stock of something, for a period of time. And then after a while, they'll stop accepting the orders. Um, and so when it is, when it is possible to ship, when, like before they go unorderable, you can uh, still add them to your cart. And then it'll say, do you want to ship these later? So that might be an option. And if not, then you can uh, grab them for later. So we're going to do, there's three demonstrators that we're getting together to do the stamp camp. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got the whole day planned. I think it's from 10 to 2.30. And there's nine projects. So there'll be make and takes, um, live demonstrations. Oh, and we've got the prizes as well. So we'll do two of those. Yeah, so for this class you do, you should technically have a stamp cut and emboss machine, the small, the mini or the regular. But if you don't have one of those, then we can work something out for sure so that you can still attend if that's of interest to you. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Good times. It's the first stamp camp I've done with other demonstrators. So it's really cool to see, you know, their projects using the same suite and the same, you know, they've got all the same materials that I do. And come up with something totally different. It's uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah. And there's also going to be a little session that talks about all the tips and tricks on how to use the suite. All right. So right now I'm just stamping all my flowers for the front of this. So this is balmy blue, and I just so this is calypso coral pale papaya, pear pizzazz, and then this is balmy blue. I feel like my balmy blue needs a bit, needs some love, needs some more ink. Whoops. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go down to the farmer's market today. After we're finished here, the boys. We're all off today, so that's fun. I've got, we've got um, a whole bunch of strawberry plants in the back and we've got a lot of strawberries happening back there, which is good. We've put, we've got a netting over it. Now, in the years past, since we've been here, this four, four or five years, the, um, the birds have gotten our strawberry crop. <clears throat> but this year we put a net over it. So I'm just gonna get out my mini stamp cut and emboss machine. Okay, so let's get these cut. So this, if you have not seen it, is the, it's still new, I think, the new mini stamp cut and emboss machine. So we're gonna cut out all of our pieces. Here's my coffee this morning. I don't know if you can see it. It's got my little Stampin' Up cup. Put that over there. It's gonna, it's going to make a mess if it falls or, all right, so let's grab the flower die. So there's strips of tape in here to hold it down. All right, so then we're just gonna line this up. So you could put a piece of washi tape down to hold the die on top of the paper. I'm okay with not doing that, but some people do. So then you wanna hold it down with this hand and run it through. Then there's our, our flowers. So if I was filming this for a video, 
this is where I would skip to the part where I'm zooming through. I'm, sp I'm speeding up the video so you don't have to sit and watch me die cut all of these. There's one part done. So once we get the flowers cut out, putting the card together is pretty straightforward. The suite is super easy to work with. Peaches are now in season in July. Whoops. I've got a recipe for a dessert, a peach dessert that I was gonna post for everybody. What else is going on? What's everybody doing today? What's happening? We're looking for suggestions because we don't know what to do. We've got the air conditioning on in the house. We're fortunate enough to have that. Only just turned it on last night. My friend in Arizona, Dawn, it's very hot in the southern states. Kind of reminds me, the heat right now kind of reminds me of when I used to live in Arizona for a while. And, uh, you know, 100, 105, 110 degrees. This is a more humid hot for sure. Raspberry tarts today, that's good. Now, Jody, do you have raspberries in your garden or are you, did you get some from a farm? I, um, we used to live over in Langley, of course, and I have to go over to Vancouver next, so it went July 7th, two Wednesdays from now, I guess, for my back surgery, and, uh, Lance wants me to go to one of the farms that we used to go to when we lived there. And you can get these huge flats of, of um, berries, blueberries in this case. And uh, yeah, so we can freeze them. And I'm sure that you could do that here, but I just don't know where the, where the farms are for that. Oh, you got them from your garden, Jody. That's super cool. Okay, so let's cut this and then we just have the sentiment, which is super fast. Stitch so sweetly. So what do you guys think of this mini cut and emboss machine? I'm not sure if anybody has one. I do have one sitting here that I'm gonna give away. I need to build the campaign for it. It'll be, um, the persons eligible to win, I think are gonna be the ones who are on my newsletter list. So if you're signed up for my newsletter, then you'll have a chance, but I will email about it for sure. Raspberry vodka? Oh my God, you're so creative. Never even would have occurred to me. Okay, so you have to tell me, what do you do? You mull them? and put them in the raspberry, or you're gonna have to tell me more about that. I buy raspberry vodka sometimes. Okay, my marathon cutting is done. All right, so let me just grab the Stitch So Sweetly dies so that we can, or I can cut that. Well, I don't know where my dies are for this. This guy right here, I was looking. So we're gonna improvise. We're gonna use this one instead, I think because it still will look beautiful. Might go one lower. Sure, let's use this one.
Yeah, the stamp cut and emboss machine. So I don't know, sometimes people might get, um, like if you have a really big order, uh, I think it's over $500, then you can get one item for 50% off. And I, I had a really big order from a bunch of clients all at once, maybe from April. And so I got the mini for 50% off. Like, of course I have a mini and I thought, no, I'm gonna give it away. Someone else needs to enjoy the mini. All right, I think this is done. Oh, pardon me. Now there's this little teeny tiny die to finish our sentiment. Yeah, so this is good. My regular one, of course, is behind me, um, but this is good. This works too. I'm waiting for Stampin' Up! to come out with the magnetic plates. I love the magnetic plates. They had a problem with them, so they're not available at the moment. So then this flips up, and that's it. Yeah, cool. So, now let's get to gluing and putting this together. So I'll bring out the bases again. I've still got some of the old tape runner from my stash that I gotta use up. Just make sure it's opening the right way, which it is. We'll get that centered. What does that say, Jody? Vodka and raspberries store till Christmas. Oh, good. Um, just thinking about dimensionals. I'm not going to use dimensionals in this piece, but I am going to use it on the flowers. Whoops. There we go. That one's dead. Okay. So this one is the same top to bottom, and then there's just this sliver happening around the outside. So then, how will we use this? So I've been spending quite a bit of time getting ready for the stamp camp. <clears throat> there's a to-go version, so all the, all the um, projects uh, have make and takes, or I mean, um, well, we're going to do them live at the stamp camp, of course, but then there's also going to be, they're going to be recorded in case people want to look at them later. So that's fun putting all that together. All right, so let's do our sentiment. So this one says, thanks for being as sweet as a peach. So I'm just, it's hard to see which one. Thanks for being. That one, sweet as a peach. So in this example, of course, I'm not even using any of the, the peach theme of it. So it's a versatile set and that you can, you can have both. You can have peach themed or non peach themed. So I'm gonna bring this in. I think this substitute sentiment die will work just fine. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Fits perfectly. Love it. And now let's get this little guy. I think the, my favorite part of doing stamping is when you have all your pieces together. Okay, I'm gonna put my head might be in the camera here. When you have all your pieces together, stamped and ready to go, and then, and then you build your project. I think that's my favorite part. Now, before I put these flowers on, I'm gonna stamp the center of them. There's this teeny 
tiny die. Like, look at how teeny tiny that is. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna stamp the center of the flowers. Like, they look fine now, but I just wanna add the center. So I'm gonna do that with gray granite. And now, if I was doing a video, this is where I would speed up again. Let's sand them all out. I don't know that I'll use all of them, because it's quite a few, but you can have, let me show you. These are a couple other ones that I made. Have a peachy day, so same as this, but it's in the pear pizzazz paper color with the flowers. And then there's that one. So I've made a background with the happy birthday and then added the peach. So those are some, you can make the little three by three cards quite quickly. Yeah. All right. And so tomorrow I have the paper pumpkin class. So it's free, you just need to have your paper pumpkin. I do have an extra paper pumpkin if somebody needs one for tomorrow. Of course, if you live locally. Yeah, so if you have a paper pumpkin and you wanna to join tomorrow at 10 o'clock and we're gonna build our kits via Zoom. So we'll have some paper pumpkin alternatives, we call it which are so you can make some of the cards right from the kit, like how they're, how Stampin' Up! gives you instructions, and then there'll be some other styles of cards that you can make with it. And then this is the, this is the paper pumpkin here, Expressions in Color. And this one you get two ink spots and a stamp set. So that's what we're doing tomorrow, so let me know if you want to join or need one of those. All right, so let's just set this right here and let's get to building. I need my dimensionals. All right, so the paper pumpkin class is gonna be the last Sunday of every month. It is super pretty. I haven't like I've seen, I haven't opened my kit yet, but some of the other demonstrators have opened the kit and what's on the outside, like of that box, is I think one of the, the bases for the card, like the color scheme. So I guess you use alcohol and ink and create the, uh, create the backgrounds, which are done for you. All right, so this is how this is gonna go. This way and this way. And then I'm gonna fill in with the flowers. So you'll notice that I'm doing one going down and one coming up. Of course, I'm gonna have to unclog my glue probably because that's what happens on Saturday mornings. Now I'm going to use glue sometimes because I don't, I'm going to do that one after actually because um, of the different levels. So I'll put a dimensional here, but then I would want to do glue and maybe a little baby one here. So you don't have to have the minis. You can just have the big ones and then cut them in half. That's what I do if I run out of minis. One there. And then this guy will go here. So then what I do is I kind of put in some of the flowers to see, you know, what they're going to look like. Where's my sample? Here it is. So we're coming along. Let's put this right here. And then this little sentiment is going to go right across the top after we're done. Oh, and we need to stamp, or we need to punch our sprigs. Let's do that. So I have here, this is the sprig punch. And I've got some vellum. Did 
this work with vellum? I love vellum. We have Stampin' Up, although I don't have it yet. Stampin' Up has some colored vellum now. Has anybody tried that yet? Maybe I'll do four of these. The Sprig Punch is super fast. That should be enough. Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. Let's get this one down. A little bit of glue here. Uh, is that what I want to do? That's what I'm doing. I've got glue on, so I'm committed now. I was thinking about putting dimensionals, <coughs> excuse me, under these little pieces. I think I'm going to do that over here. Probably doesn't really matter because the flowers are going to cover it, but. All right, let's do flowers. My favorite. So I'm going to use <coughs> a lot of dimensionals for popping these guys up. So who's thinking about joining the stamp camp? Who's on the fence? It's gonna be a good time. We're also gonna do one for, um, for the holidays. So the new holiday catalog was released on Wednesday to demonstrators. So we're gonna pick a kit from there. Not a kit, a, um, we're gonna pick a suite. And that's gonna be the stamp camp for Christmas. Not quite sure when we're going to do it. So that'll be fun too. So I'm just building out my flowers wherever I think they should go. Do you have to use the peach sweet? No, I don't think so, Jody. I think, just let me think about the cards. <clears throat> no, there's gonna be fun folds and other projects. No, you don't, you could, I think you could use whatever sweet you want. That's a good point. So if you buy the sweet, then the stamp camp is free. If you have a set that you want to use, like you say, then it's $45 and that's to, you would get the kits and you would, you know, participate in the live and then you get a link to all the videos as well. Yeah, the strawberry sweet would be nice. I think that cards are so versatile that, you know, you're not, I don't think you're married to one particular stamp set over another. Uh, of course, you'd have to sort yourself out with the, the jam jars, whether you wanted to, to do those or not. Those are not, the jam jars are not coming in the, as part of the kit, just for shipping purposes. So you'll get those from Stampin' Up and then you'll have the tutorial to make the tags and there's a couple of recipes that we're gonna be doing of things that you can put in there. What do we think? I might stop on the old flowers. Let me see. Oh no, let's keep going. Why not? Whoops. Should I stop? Tell me, what do you think? Maybe another red one right there. I feel like I should use them all, but there might be enough on there. I'll wait to hear your comments. So let's deal with our vellum as well. So we can tuck this, a little tuck tuck. I don't even know if we need the vellum, but let's have a look. Yeah, I'm using the vellum. So sometimes I'll just uh, rip that in half. So when tucking, 
sometimes the dimensionals can get in the way. So who else is crafting on the super, super duper hot weather we're having? We went out and mowed the lawn yesterday and did some yard work, but it was, it was short lived. All right, I think I'm gonna, uh, just trying to tuck to see where my dimensionals are in the way or not in the way. along. We're very close to being done. Maybe one more in here. All right, so the other thing I do is I rip the bottom if it's too tall, which this one is. one more down here. So I've seen that uh, we were out and about walking around last weekend downtown. We went for dinner <coughs> with friends and there was some graduating going on with different people and then some friends this weekend. Their son has graduated, which is awesome. Brings back memories of my grad driving around in a limo or hanging out with friends, etc. It's pretty cool. Fun times. Fun times for memories. It's awesome. I graduated from Spectrum. Okay. I think that's it. We're just going to add some, well, I think I'm going to, oh yes, here they are. We're going to add some pearls to the flowers. Oh, and a wee Costella. And that's it. I'm just looking for my multi-tool. Here it is. Now, I'm gonna do not all of these, but some of them, some of the flowers. Whoops. Do you guys love the multi-tool? What kind of a tool do you use? This thing could be probably similar to a multi-tool. Because I don't know if um, people use all the attachments to this one here. All right, let's do a big one here. I think it looks fine with a different sentiment piece on there. All right, let's add a couple more. I'm happy with this card. I think that's good. Oh, maybe one more. I just feel like you could use a I feel like I should put them on every card, every flower. <laughs> All right, let's wink a still at this. I think uh, normally the Wink Estella doesn't show up in the videos, but can you tell me if you can see it? Because I feel like you can see the Wink Estella. That's good. So you wanna be careful that some of the colors bleed. I think I got a little bit of that here. So let me do all the reds. And then let's clean it off. Do all the pale papayas. So that's good. All right, we're off to the market after this. See what there is. I think they open at 10. There. Oh, almost forgot. We have to ha add our little extra, how did I put this on? I think with minis. Two little minis. And then we'll drop it right on there. And hopefully it doesn't look weird with the different heights. Hope you're doing
today is as sweet as a peach. So let's tuck that right there. Awesome. That's it, everybody, we're done. So see, I still have some left over, which is good. So thanks for hanging out with me this morning. What's our time? 45 minutes, not bad, not bad. And have a great weekend. Let me know if you wanna be part of the stamp camp. Use a different suite if you wish, totally doable. And have a great weekend. Bye for now, everybody.